Sonic the Hedgehog has been my favourite franchise growing up, with Sonic 2 being my first ever Sonic game, and Sonic Heroes being my first ever 3D game. I made a video last year on why I thought the 2000s was Sonic's best decade, and it got quite a lot of views, so I'm gonna do the same thing here, but why I think the 2010s of Sonic, also known as the Meta Era, is, in my opinion, Sonic's worst decade. Pretty much the downfall of the franchise, in my opinion. Now before you go racing into the comments, I do enjoy some Meta Era games, but before we get into that, I just want to talk about what makes the Meta Era the Meta Era, and why, in my opinion, it was pretty much the worst decade for Sonic. And if you do legitimately enjoy the Meta Era, or the 2010s, then that's completely fine. You are... I'm gonna let you like what you like, I'm not in charge of your preferences. I'm just a human being talking about Sonic the Hedgehog, literally on YouTube. So, if you like it, that's fine. Now, why do people call it the Meta Era, and what is so meta about the 2010s? Well, not only do the games have a more light-hearted tone, but they are more self-aware with what's happening. Sometimes even breaking the fourth wall. Not even just from the games, but also from the social media, where they try to be hit with all the memes and all that, which are not even funny in the slightest, but... Even if you do like the meta era, you cannot deny that it is, in fact, a defining trait of that decade. But with all that out of the way, let's get into why I'm not a huge fan of the meta era at all, and why I think it's Sonic's worst decade. The first thing we have on the list is unoriginality. Now what do I mean by this? Well, let me tell you something about Green Hill Zone. It's an iconic level from Sonic 1 and is actually one of the most iconic levels in all of gaming. But how would you feel if it was reused in nearly every main series game going forward in that decade? You would get sick of it. So, they did it. They actually reused Green Hill so many times in that decade. People got sick of it, including myself. Now, for Sonic Generations, I'll give it a pass since that was actually supposed to be a celebratory game with every single level from past games being reused, so I'm gonna let that slip. But why the fuck do they have to bring it back for forces? And if it ain't Green Hill, it's fucking Chemical Plant because that gets reused just as much. And while we're on the subject of unoriginality, Let's talk about Classic Sonic, because why do they keep bringing him back? Again, for generations it was understandable because they want to celebrate 20 years of Sonic. Like, they want to like, cater to both modern fans and classic fans. But why did they bring him back for Forces when Mania was already coming out? And he played like dog shit in Forces, he was literally the worst character in the game. Even worse in Generations, and for the record, Generations Classic Sonic was really good, like it was actually fun, they got down the physics right, but what the fuck happened in Forces? And even though he wasn't in the game, Lost World still had some classic elements into it, like with the figure 8, the spin dash, it, it felt classic, there was even Green Hill assets in Windy Valley, Windy Hill, whatever it is, like literally, on the originality doesn't even have to be Green Hill, the game was literally trying to be Mario, like with all the, the grass, sand, desert, lava, snow, it was like literal Mario themes. That's why Lost World felt a bit unoriginal as well. So far I'm not seeing any sort of Green Hill assets or classic Sonicness in Sonic Frontiers, but if I see one glimpse of classic or Green Hillness, I'm gonna throw some hands. The next thing we have on the list is 2D sections, and like I said in my 2000s video, it started with Unleashed. But again, I didn't mind them in Unleashed because they were short and sweet and they didn't last the whole fucking level but since Colors, my god, they lost literally a whole level. Literally, the 2D sections in Colors and Forces have some of the worst designed levels in the whole fucking franchise. It's not even good 2D like it was in Unleashed or Generations of that it was It's just pure, blocky 2D, literal automation, scriptedness, slow, uninteresting 2D, and I fucking hate it. And the length of these stages are significantly shorter than what we had in the 2000s. Like, when you play Colors, some stages last for literally 28 seconds. Like, some Act 1s in Colors are decently length, and are pretty much the best stages in the whole game, but when you get to like, Acts 2 to 6, 
that's when shit becomes repetitive fast. One thing I forgot to mention while talking about the unoriginality is Sonic 4, because that game was kind of plung the seeds for it. And that game had like so many unoriginal environments. Like, I'm talking about like episode 1 specifically, and that came out prior to Generations and before Colors as well. So, that game was pretty much plung the seeds for the whole thing. Next thing we have on the list gameplay wise is the lack of multiple playable characters. Because this was around the time Cricks were so full of themselves saying that oh Sonic has so many annoying friends because they didn't like playing as other characters, they didn't like the other playstyles, so they just stuck with Sonic and Classic Sonic and that's it. And all this grief has come from Classic Sonic fanboys that haven't played any Sonic game since Sonic 3 and Knuckles, who just don't want Sonic to evolve and, th and these people Pissed me the fuck off. They're pretty much the reason why we haven't had multiple playstyles since 2008. No, Classic Sonic does not count. I was perfectly fine with the multiple playstyles in the 2000s. Like, sure, Big's uh, gameplay kind of sucked, and Amy's was kind of mid. But apart from that, I liked other playstyles. My favorites being like the Werehog. I love playing as the Werehog so much. Yes, I know. Fight me, I don't care. But. Man, the Werehog just is so intricate. I love playing as that character and I love that playstyle. It's just all about diversity and I miss playing as all these different characters. If we just stick with Sonic for the rest of the decade, it's just it's just gonna get boring. So I'm I hope Frontiers at least has Multiple playable characters, but we're not going to count on that. Which brings me to the most cringe species of aliens I've ever witnessed in the video game. The Wisps. Now, they weren't that bad in colours since they were kind of the main focus, but they, they didn't really feel Sonic-y. Like, they were kind of like Chicken Little rejects. Like, the Rocket Wisp is literally that one alien from Chicken Little. I fucking kid you not. He's literally that one alien from Chicken Little. Am I the only one who still remembers that film? Even gameplay wise, they're pretty underwhelming. Like, the laser just lets you zip past some section of the level automatically. Just press the whisk button and all challenge goes out the window. Why have hover when you can just use tails as fly? Why have drill when Knuckles can already dig underground? Why have rocket when we actually had actual rockets in the adventure games? And why have the spike whisk and the hover whisk use the light speed dash and the spin dash when Sonic can already fucking do that in past games? And what made them worse is that they brought them back for future games as well. Again, Sonic Generations gets a pass because it's an anniversary game. Why did they bring them back for Lost World and Forces? They even made brand new whisks for Team Offline Racing and Lost World. Why? They're actually making Wisps a main staple for the franchise, and that makes me want to fucking vomit. I'm just praying that they don't add it to Frontiers, because if we end up getting a Wisp Garden, I'm gonna scream. Speaking of cringe, let's talk about the story in Rome, because holy shit. It is some of the worst characterization, Ryan, and acting in the whole fucking franchise. I am not kidding. I hate every character in, in the Met era. Like, God damn, what the fuck do they do to these characters? Alright, let's talk about voice acting while we're on this topic. Because I do not like Roger Craig Smith as Sonic at all. Now, I have nothing against Roger, and he does voice Ezio Auditore da Firenze from Assassin's Creed 2. Fucking amazing character. And he killed it as Ezio. He literally crushed it. But for Sonic, oh my god, no. It just does not sound good at all, like... I don't care how good the Ryan is, the voice itself will always be a huge problem. It's just, it just doesn't fit Sonic really. It just makes Sonic sound like some four year old man child who still hangs around with teenagers. And of course not helping is the cringe ass dialogue. Literally some of the worst Ryan in the whole series like, Bored it with nose hair? Really? BBBE? Like what the fuck? The worst story is not even colors, it has to go for fucking Lost World. Oh my god. Every single character in that game is so unlikable, including Sonic. He's such a whiny bitch. The Deadly Six are literally as one note as you can possibly get. And Tails. 
Holy shit. You trust Eggman more than me. You know how much that bites? Oh, oh Jesus Christ. And Force's story was literally on some Mickey Mouse anime shit with the bonds of friendship. Because, oh, that shit had more corn in it than the fields themselves. Like, my god. I am so fucking glad that we now have Ian Flynn writing the story for Frontiers. I mean, Roger's still going to be voicing Sonic, which is, ugh, but... At least we won't have to deal with all that meta era bullshit no more. Thank fucking Christ for that. Praise the Lord. And finally, we gotta talk about the long droughts, cause my god, their marketing has gone so shit after generations. I mean, actually, no, after Lost World, their marketing has gone so shit. Why do we need to wait for a new game every anniversary? What's the point in that? What does there need to be a game and every anniversary? And why is their marketing for said games so dog shit? I've ranted about this shit so many fucking times on this channel. In my Sonic Twitter run and in my multimedia video. Like, I've said this time and time again. Why do we need to wait for five years for a new game? Why do they take so long to show gameplay? What's even the point? Why is their marketing so shit? And why the fuck are Sonic fans still defending them? I'm literally not gonna talk about all this much because at this point, I'm just repeating myself because I said all this shit before. I'm fucking tired of their bullshit. Just show some gameplay. Before I end the video, I just want to say that as much as I hate the meta era, Sonic Generations and Sonic Mania are pretty much the best games from that decade. What makes this funny, especially with Generations, is that those games all have what makes the meta era the meta era but those games are still bangers because generations literally has the best level design from that decade and mainly of course like being made by fans if it was just more original zones then it would have been way better but of course izuka had just had to slip in that green hillness into there and generation is literally one of my top 10 sonic games because that game is a literal banger I fucking love playing that of course unleash is still the better boost game but I can still appreciate the devs for what they did for generations. Literally, some of the best level design in the whole meta era. It's, it's a shame that they actually left to work with Nintendo. And the fact that it's been over 10 years since the last God of Free Sonic game is just fucking depressing. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the meta era, which is undoubtedly the worst decade for Sonic in my opinion. So hopefully Frontiers ends up breaking the cycle, breaking the chain, but we can only hope until we actually see gameplay. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you all think of the meta era. Do you like it? Is it your favorite era of Sonic? Do you hate it? Let me know down below and like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, the good stuff, and tune in for more content. I'm BrightX2000BX2. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care. Bless.